Good morning. We will pay attention to source documents and subsidiary journals that is used to record transactions. We will first look at all the source documents. An invoice issued means that the business gives the invoice to someone else. So that is when the business renders a service to someone else or they sell goods on credit. So goods sold or a service that was provided on credit to your customers, you will issue an invoice. An invoice received, now you receive the invoice from the place where you buy the goods. So invoice received will be on goods purchased on credit or services received from someone else on credit. A check is issued when we pay money out of the bank account. This can also be an electronic transfer. A receipt is issued when someone pays money to the business as proof that the payment was made. A credit note is issued to your debtors to reduce their accounts because they returned goods or a mistake was made on the invoice or the goods were damaged when it was delivered to the debtor. So there are various reasons why you want to reduce a debtor's account and you do that with a credit note. A credit note received is received from the creditor because they will reduce your account. Cash register roll or cash invoice is when services are rendered for cash or you sell goods for cash. So you receive money immediately and you will issue a toll slip to them or a cash invoice. A journal voucher or journal narration is used when entries are recorded in the general journal. So any entry that does, doesn't fit into one of the top um, categories will be recorded in the general journal. We don't receive a source document for this transaction, therefore we will write a little sentence in the general journal that we call a journal narration, or you can issue journal vouchers as proof for the transaction. Petty cash vouchers is used for payments out of the petty cash, so that's the tin where you put money when you pay out small amounts, and that will be recorded in the petty cash journal. What is very important here is that you must look if it is received or issued. If you look at this first one, it is invoice. So it means that there's an invoice and here's another invoice. So you must distinguish between the two that you know when do you use the one and when do you use the other one. So an invoice issued is when you sell goods, so it's goods sold, you give it to your debtors. An invoice received will be received from your creditors. Now, invoice issued is to debtors, so a credit note issued will also be to debtors. An invoice received is from creditors, and a credit note received is from creditors. So you receive an invoice and you receive a credit note from your creditors. You issue an invoice and issue a credit note to your debtors. When we receive cash, it doesn't matter what we receive the money for, we will record it in the cash receipts journal. When we pay out money, it will be recorded in the cash payments journal. So any payments except payments out of petty cash will be recorded in the cash payments journal. When goods are sold on credit, it will be recorded in the debtors journal. When the debtors return goods, it will be recorded in the debtors allowances journal. So if you sell debtors journal, if you want to reduce the debtor's account, debtor's allowances journal. When you purchase goods on credit, you will record it in the creditor's journal. And when your account will be reduced by the creditors, you will record it in the creditor's allowances journal. And if any entry doesn't fit into 
one of these journals that we've just mentioned now, the entries will be recorded in the general journal.